Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it'd be cool to recreate one of the finale looks from the show Instant Influencer. So if you guys don't know what Instant Influencer is, it's this show hosted by James Charles on YouTube Originals. And it just kind of like showcases some small creators to like hopefully give them a bigger platform and show all the work that they do, which is like, I think it's really cool. And one of my favorites on the show is Kaylin Chase. And I love her personality. I love her makeup look so much. Like, I love the look that she had for the finale. I think the message behind the whole trend was so nice. And I thought it was really thoughtful. And I really wanted to recreate it. Like, the second I saw it, I was like, I need to recreate that look. So, if you guys want to see how I recreated the look, then let's keep watching. Oh my, what a wonderful time. have you guys all up and close and personal so i already did my eyebrows off camera i thought it would save some time like i just want to focus on the eyeshadow and the message behind it which you guys will see i'm gonna recreate this look right here and yeah so the first thing that i'm gonna do is prime my eyelids because we're gonna use like such bright eyeshadows for this look today when you don't prime like, the colors aren't really going to stick to you. Like Nikki Tutorial says, not to prime is a crime. And of course, in honor of the show, we're going to be using the James Charles palette. So I'm going to be going in with this bright yellow shade. And we're just going to put that all right here in our crease. What I like about her look is that you can do obviously different eyes because the meaning behind the look is obviously going to be different for everyone. And that's also what I liked. You don't have to copy like everything completely. It can still have like your own message behind it. So that's why I'm doing my own di like different color eyes. And next thing I'm going to go in with the bright pink shade right here. Yeah, she's really pigmented and bright. So I'm going to take that right below the yellow, just like right here, right below. I'm going to go back in with the yellow here. Like, I like when you mix the yellow and the pink, it gets you orange, and you're not even really putting orange on your lid. So yeah, we got that nice seamless little blend right there. And now I'm going to go in and pack the pink all over my eyelid. And I, when I'm using bright colors, I like to do my foundation last, just so, like you can kind of clean it up. Because sometimes like bright colors, you can get like some fallout right here. And I'm going to be adding some glitter, so I don't want that like to be all over my face. Okay, I'm going to quickly do the other eye off camera, and I'll be back. Okay, so these are both of the eyes complete at the top. Um, I'm gonna go ahead off camera and do my base and everything because I just want the main focus to be the eyes and what you'll see what I'm about to do after. Okay, so our base is all complete. So continuing with the eye look, I'm going to be taking that yellow shade and I'm going to be taking it to the lower lash line. So the bright yellow is going to follow that down. Mainly focusing on the outer because that's where I want the like transition orange. And now I'm going to follow down with the hot pink shade. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we have our lower lash line, I'm actually going to be taking the bright white shade in the palette, right here, dab that, and I'm going to place that in the inner corner, just to brighten up the area a little bit. Just a little bit, not too, too much. Now, I kind of want the inner corner to be shiny, so this is totally optional, but... For this look, I thought I would put some glitter. So I'm going to take some MAC glitter. It's like a shiny, like a pearl, I would kind of say. So first, I'm going to apply some of this glue adhesive. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the glue adhesive. Now, we're going to dip into the glitter and place that on the inner corner. down that that's exactly what i needed that's good it's just like enough to give like the inner corner a little pop so those are the eyes now i'm gonna quickly put on some lashes so lashes are on now don't mind this one was like i was having some trouble putting on that one but okay, so I'll put the picture here again, her look. So she has one side of her face is what you are perceived as by other people. So some of them probably aren't as positive because people can be really mean. And yeah, and then so the other side is what you truly are, what you feel you are. And that's why I like this look so much because everyone's just going to be different. You're just going to like start to have like more confidence, I feel like, when you write the words. So, okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to use this Kat Von D liner. And, because I have to, like, mirror them backwards. Oh, my God. Wish me luck. I'm gonna be like her, like, did I spell everything right? Okay, so it's not like exactly like straight, but like it's like so hard to do words backwards. I was struggling, but you get it. So it says uh, closed off gullible week because I've heard those words plenty of times with people calling me them. And I think I'm strong, independent, and loving. The words are a little. Mm. But I think the overall message behind it was like really nice. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I think it was like a cool like trend because the whole point was like they're supposed to like create like a trend for people to follow. And I actually really think she did that because it made me want to do it and I hope other people will get to do it. But yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.